with a chicken Southwest salad. So here I have a rotisserie chicken that I went ahead and purchased and then I deboned it. Okay, so this is a really something you can do at home and it's easy and it can be really delicious. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make the base. I'm going to go ahead and put our chicken in here. And rotisserie chicken is so versatile. I mean, you can make sandwiches with this. You can do chicken salad sandwiches. You can make chicken salad, all kinds. But today I'm going to go ahead and make it into a uh, Southwest salad. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in some black beans. Then you can go ahead and have some kidney beans. These are some of my favorites. I love kidney beans. And of course, you want to go ahead and toss it as you're doing it. Then you're going to go ahead and I'm going to have some corn. And uh, I just used just your regular corn. Uh, you can use fresh corn on the cob. You can also grill it, which is fabulous. Grilling chicken, I mean grilling corn first, gives a really good roasted flavor. And that is one of my favorite ways to make it also. But that's... That's something you can do there. Then I cut some peppers up, yellow and red. Those are some of my favorite colors. I think those look really good. I didn't get any green ones with this, but I got some red and yellow peppers. Mix it up. I made it, now you can cut them. You notice how I cut them, they're all like little squares. I like them small. I just think that when you get the taste, it's all crunchy when you taste it. It's just really, I just like it like that. All right, then I have over here, we have our black olives. You can cut them smaller if you'd like. I just kind of like them this size. Next, I'm gonna put in some red onions. Here we have some red onions. And I cut those small. Now, if some of you don't like onions, you just, you know, you can hold the onions. All right, then I like to put cucumbers. So here I have some chopped cucumbers. These are the Persian cucumbers, and the Persian ones are these little babies over here. These are your Persian cucumbers, the smaller ones. So these are one of my favorites because you can do so many fun things with that. And over here, like you can see what I did with here, we're gonna make some uh, little hors d'oeuvres over there with some bread, and you just can, you can slice them in so many different ways. You can chop them, slice them. Uh, some of these bowls, like this bowl, I wanted to share. I got this at a garage sale. Isn't that awesome? I think it was like $5, but um, when you go to garage sales, and you can find the neatest thing. Okay, now we're getting ready to serve our Southwest chicken salad. But before that, I want to show you a dressing that I made. This is just olive oil, fresh garlic, and then I went ahead and put some uh, herb de France dress uh, spices, which you can also use fresh oregano, dried oregano, rosemary. Uh, I would prefer just oregano, and then you can also put garlic powder. And I did put lots of fresh garlic, which really enhances the flavor. And uh, then I put uh, salt and a little bit of pepper. I stirred it around really good. And if you've got your own little Italian dressing, you think, well, would that taste good on the Southwest side? It tastes great. So this is what I put on there. And like I said, you also have an option of using uh, your salsa, uh, just a regular salsa that you've made or that you purchased. And then we have, of course, have our avocado. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and serve it. And here we have our plates. I'm going to go ahead and get a leaf. This is a uh, green leaf lettuce. Then we're going to go ahead, put that on here. And you can put the salad dressing on it and let it marinate for, for a couple of hours if you'd like, or you can just serve it separately. Then you're going to want ahead and go ahead and put, uh, well, let's put our avocado first. And on the avocado, I just mashed it and put salt. And uh, I also did put garlic powder in it, in my garlic, in the guacamole. Okay, then we have our salsa. You can put that on top. Then you can have your tomatoes. And, and I did cut the, the tomatoes on the bias side. So what that means is when you have your tomatoes, these particular ones are grape tomatoes. So I just cut them on the bias side, just sideways, and it just gives it a, a whole lot prettier look that way. So then you're going to go ahead. You can put it on the side there. You can put it on the top. Then you're going to go ahead and get some sour cream. You can also put garlic in here. You can also put some uh, cilantro, cut some cilantro up. You can really fix up your sour cream as well. Then to top it off, I went ahead and got some uh, queso fresco right here. 
And if you like, you can also top it off with some green onions. And if you also, let me go ahead and get some, uh, this, is, this is serrano peppers. These are a little bit of serrano, a little bit of jalapeno. Okay, then you can go ahead and add on your dressing. Like I said, you can put it in here. I might put a little bit in here. And you can put some, since this doesn't have any, you can put some on in here. Then you can, another idea that you can do besides putting it on your lettuce is you have some baguettes here. And you can also put some on here on your baguettes. You can put a little bit here. Or actually, I think I would put my avocado first as a spread, as a base. This is your base. You can use that as your base. You can put sour cream as your base. Then you can go ahead and put your salad. And like I said, some of my favorite beans are the kidney beans. I love the kidney beans. They just have such a neat flavor to it. I have some cucumbers here. Now, the way I cut these, I cut them in slice. So you're going to have them come out like this. Okay, what I did is these, are, these particular cucumbers are the Persian. So I just got this one, and I cut it in half lengthwise. And then you just get a peeler, and you just go ahead and peel it. And just kind of dig in a little deeper so it can come out a little thicker. And that's all you do. This is kind of hard doing it, doing it this way. But you can do that, or with a thin knife, a paring knife, you can slice it. Here we go. And then what you can do, like I did, I'm just going to go ahead and redo it. You can just kind of make your little curvy cue really cute on there. You can get your cherry tomato, put it on top, and then you can also use it like that. You can also put some of your cheese on top. Goat cheese would be really good. Goat cheese is one of my favorites. But anyway, you can use that, and then you can put a stick inside there, and that's a little hors d'oeuvre you can have. So that is something else you can do with that. Okay, so this completes our uh, Southwest chicken salad. We used a little bit of everything, and I'm sure you can think of something that you would like to add to it. So I guess let's go ahead and let's eat. Mm -hmm.